insurance. My employer cannot provide health insurance to me and I cannot afford to buy it. So my question is directly to you. Why should my government and all of its citizens help you? Yeah. Sorry, maybe you, mi you missed my opening remarks, but absolutely, that's why we have Medicaid and in the current system, and that's why under the alternative proposal, we have an option for low to modest income people to be able to afford health care. And then we've got the we've got the S chip program, you know, for for children. So I, I think we've got all of the bases covered. Um, okay. If, if you're not, then you're the, the perfect example for why we've got to do reform and we've got to do it now, but we have to do it right. And if, if we can do an alternative proposal, as I'm suggesting, give you the money to go buy it in a reformed marketplace where it is affordable, that's my preference rather than to saddle the nation with yet another government program when they can't afford the, the government run program. To I want an option that I can pay for. I work, I pay my bills. I'm not a burden on the state, I pay my taxes. So why can't I get an affordable option? Why are you against that? Um, a government-run program is going to subsidize not only yours, but everyone's in this room. Yes. So I'm not sure what, 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 what we're talking about. Um, well, I, I think it comes down to the whole discussion. Of, okay, folks, hey, that's, that's not our job to pay for your health care. Yeah, let's, let's be respectful. Oh, <laughs> we're going to make time for everybody here, but we're going to all listen to each other respectfully. And if we have to disagree, um, I, I, I think we can agree we need reforms. Again, it's just how we're going to do it. I believe people should be given the opportunity to take care of themselves with a refund or an advanceable tax credit to go be a grown up and go buy the insurance.